Australia, great country to visit if you're concerned that you have a drinking problem. <laughs> like, I don't know if you are aware of this, an Australian is just an Irishman who's been left out in the sun for too long. That's, <laughs> that's how they make Australians. They don't have babies like the rest of us. You take an Irish person, you just airdrop them in the desert without sunblock, and like six weeks, just like, oi, oi, oi. They sort of melt <laughs> into Australians. It's a strange phenomenon. But it was nice to go to Australia because there's no pressure to speak a second language. I was in Western Australia where a lot of people don't even speak a first language. It's like, oh. <laughs> I don't know what weird sounds are coming out of your mouth, but I refuse to believe information is being conveyed at all. <laughs> Right, mate? I don't know, those weren't words. There was not one consonant what you just said. This is a string of vowel sounds, you weirdo. I think Americans catch too much shit from other countries for only speaking one language. I was talking to a guy from Belgium recently, and I complimented him on how well he spoke English, and he got very snotty. He's like, well, I speak three languages. <laughs> in Europe, we all speak multiple languages. Only in America, you speak one language. <laughs> Dude, you know why you speak three languages? Because you live in Belgium, and you fucking have to. <laughs> That's right. I don't want to sound like an imperialist, but let's be honest here. Belgium, a very petite nation. <laughs> and I say petite because I don't know the Flemish word for small, because I'm American. <laughs> Everyone not laughing is like, what the hell is Flemish? <laughs> I thought they spoke Belgi. <laughs> Belgium is a small country. America is a big country. We should not have the same rules, right? Like, let's say you live in Belgium and you get into your car or auto, as they probably say, right? <laughs> and you just start driving. That country is so small, no matter which direction you go, within three hours, you're gonna be in a completely different country with its own history and culture. It's not like that here in America, right? What happens if this guy gets in his car and drives three hours? What's he gonna see? Fucking that dude, it's all the same. <laughs> it's just cheesecake factories and sunglass huts, as far as the eye can see. So stop giving us crap, world. I'm sorry we're not surrounded by other cultures. We only have two neighbors in America, and they're a fuck of a distance from each other, right? <laughs> like, if you live near the border of one of them, you don't know anything about the other, okay? No one who has spent his entire life in Vermont knows how to make a good pico de gallo. <laughs> and no one from San Antonio knows how to shovel a driveway. That's... <laughs> right?